Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Wisconsin lawmakers are taking a stance on a product they say can be used to manipulate and groom children. Governor Tony Evers is expected to sign Assembly Bill 329 into law this week. It would make it a crime to possess or use a sex doll that looks like a child. In a story you'll only see here at Action 2 News, Brittany Schmidt talks to the investigator behind the bill, hoping other states will follow this action. Why do these things even exist? Um, you know, just like most people think, it's just gross and why, why is this even allowed? Sensitive crime investigator Zach Jankel with Ashwaubenon on Public Safety says about a year ago, he got an alert from another law enforcement agency about the creation of sex dolls that look like children. It's an inanimate doll um, that is used for the sole purpose of having uh, sexual activity with um, that has the appearance of a child or a minor. Um, this can be anything to a uh, doll made of plastic or rubber all the way up to, you know, who knows with the, uh, all this AI coming about in society, it could be very creepy what these things can become. Jekyll says he was shocked to learn how lifelike these dolls can be and how easily you can get one. And it's not just on the dark web, is it? No. He says they are brought into the country advertised as mannequins. But really, they're not closed mannequins at all. Australia and the United Kingdom banned the importation and distribution of childlike sex dolls in 2019. News articles detail online several instances of people being caught. The Australian Federal Police arrested three men in two days for purchasing childlike sex dolls. Jankel says it's also happened here. Yeah, there was a, a case up in the western part of the state, I don't remember where um, exactly it was, but a guy uh, was caught with a childlike sex doll that was worth $30,000 that he bought off the line. So, uh, I mean, people will go to extremes to get these dolls, and it's just a growing trend, and we want to stop it before it becomes more prevalent. Last month, a search warrant served by a task force led to the discovery of a childlike sex doll in Ashwaubenon. Because the bill is not law yet, charges could not be referred and they could not seize the doll. A year ago, Jekyll sent a letter to Representative Joy Gobin about this very issue. Bipartisan support in both chambers sent it right to Governor Tony Evers' desk for a signature now expected this week. It's nice that things that are common sense, like don't really have much argument. The bill makes it a crime to possess or possess with intent to distribute child sex dolls within the state. It also makes it a crime to use the dolls to manipulate children into participating in sex acts or normalizing the behavior known as grooming. The penalties vary based on repeat offenders, number of dolls and past convictions. It doesn't take much to think uh, that this can pile on to something even much worse. It also includes enhancer penalties if the doll is found to be created to look like a specific person. Well, that's when you think, well, I have three daughters myself. I'm like, well, what if these dolls look like one of my kids? How would I feel? Furious, obviously, but it just it has a creepy, creepy vibe to it to begin with. Five states already have laws against this. A handful of others are in the process of crafting legislation. A federal measure known as the Creeper Act of 2017 never made it out of the House of Representatives. Reporting in the newsroom, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.